Hello there, welcome to another video on YAGSL, and currently we're on docs.yagsl.com, basically a website that documents all your questions and for, about Swerve and how to just set it up using YAGSL libraries. And today with this video, I'm going to be showing you how to, how to set up your configuration files. I'm going to be giving credit to Brompbots as well as a bunch of other FRCs that have made their contributions to the documentation. Now let's get started. All right. So first we're going to start scrolling down to bring up Swerve and click on the preface here. This preface here is just a general disclaimer saying that Swerve is complicated and just because it's why AGSL is marketed as a easier way to program Swerve. It does not mean that it will always work the first try. One reason that you can't just copy paste a Swerve drive code, no, you can't just copy paste the code every single time is because every drivetrain is just a little different, right? It has different modules, different dimensions, weight, sizes, and so it's crucial that you m make sure you fill in the configuration files correctly as it tailors it to your to your robot. So how do we measure the location of the modules? You're going to be measuring this in inches, and you're basically figuring out the distance of that location relative to the center. Basically, on here, it has a, some general information on how to, uh, or a step-by-step -step guide on how to measure your mo the distance of your modules. And then you can, after you do that, you can go check your gyroscope. Checking your gyroscope is just making sure that it's being installed correctly and it's calibrated to the right value. After all, this is basically determining the location of your robot and it be detrimental if you don't double check. And then, how do you know if your gyroscope needs to be inverted? Well, basically, you only need to invert it if it's increase if the yaw doesn't increase while you're moving counterclockwise, which you can check. Um, basically, what number it outputs while it's powered. And then after that. Uh, or like, yeah, sorry, not power, just like when it's being moved. Um, after that, you're going to go check your module, your motors right here. And the documentation here generally um, recommends that you physically label everything with their IDs, just so like future you doesn't have a headache figuring out what ID this is, where this is plugged into, you know, that kind of stuff, right? And then um, motors should spin counterclockwise and positive. So this diagram here is basically explaining how you should set up the your wheels for Swerve. One thing you have to make sure is that they're all basically initialized the same way. Your bevel gears are going to have to be facing the left side of the robot. And... This graph here look is basically how you're going to be referencing the location of the modules from the center. And so you, to, to reference, let's say, the front right motor, right? Or the front right module. You're going to take this graph, right? Imagine this as the coordinate plane you, you would find in like algebra class or something. Think of this as your y-axis. Think of this as your x-axis, but you know, they're flipped. Either way, this is going to be, say, 12 inches towards the front. And then this is going to be negative 12 inches to the left. And now that sounds a lot of gibberish, but that just means it's going to be 12 inches on the right side of the robot. And then one thing you also got to make sure is that you have your encoder offset correct. This is basically um, how you're going to line up your wheels and what offset they have to be. So your bevel gears 
are facing the left side. And the documentation here also has a step-by-step -step guide on how to figure that value out. But we're going to be moving on to creating our first configuration file. So once again, documentation has it all, but we're going to be scrolling down all the way to the bottom. Open this to a new tab. I'm going to leave that one. And we are on this new site. This is going to be our kind of like our fill in the blank template. We're going to be filling in these values on how so we can cater this configuration file to your robot. So I'm going to be using our last year's robot as a little bit of a reference. So last year we use our Pigeon 2, which looks like this, so our gyroscope. And we had it at IMU ID 0. This is, we can leave this as blank for now. And then we didn't have to invert our IMU. If you're curious, by the way, on where you're going to be finding all these JSON files, you're going to be finding them in your main deploy and then swerve. And then basically pick which motor you have. We had Neos, so we are going to find them in our modules and then swerve.json, controller properties.json, you know. Anyways, on to module properties. Module properties, this is basically asking what voltage you would like all of this to be run on. 12 is the ideal battery level for just everything, so we're going to keep it as 12. Robot weight. Robot weight is kind of crucial if you want to simulate swerve drive in simulations. So if you want to use simulations for this year's robot, make sure you have the accurate weight as it's something YAGSL puts into consideration while making their calculations. Oops. Let me change that. Oopsies. Well, it shouldn't matter for now since I don't, I'm not going to use simulations in this tutorial yet. And then you're going to keep all these values default for now. You probably don't need to change them. And then we're going to be here at our, and this is what we're going to be changing, right? So our angle gear ratio and our, you know, the, our drive ratio and our wheel damper. This is basically dependent on what type of modules you have. And to find these values, what you can do is just go to, once again, the documentation. Have I not advertised this website enough? And then basically, we, you can scroll to the sidebar here and click on standard conversion factors. And basically, this will tell you, it's basically a little cheat sheet on, on one of the more common modules and all of their um, angle gear ratios and their drive gear ratios and their wheel diameters. You know, so this like, chart and everything here but most of the time what you're looking for is on this page we last year used the mk43 l3 and our gear ratio was 12.8 and our drive gear ratio was 6.12 and the diameter was four and so we're just going to plug these numbers right back into here right 12.8 will the diameter is four and gear ratio is 6.12. Oh, I changed that. Fun fact, you can scroll and change the number. That's crazy. Front left module. So this is going to be our first module that we're going to be configuring. And once again, and this here is about that location I was talking about, how we're going to be referencing using this diagram. So on for the x-axis, right, this is going to be their front left, so we want x in the positive direction and y in the positive direction. So for us last year, that was 12 positive, y was also 12 inches in towards the left. This here is the absolute encoder offset, and basically, once again, is how much you had to offset the wheels 
for you so it, the bevel gears would line to the left and the front left was 209.626 right this um these values here is something you have to figure out on your own especially if you haven't had a um a swerve drive from previous years to just easily copy paste and reference towards so if this is your first year sending a swerve drive you might have a bit of a more challenging time finding these numbers on your own this changed to 12 when i was scrolling 11 to 1 on scrolling. Okay. And then this is going to be 20. Okay, front right motor. Once again, we go to our diagram. Positive x on the right here. And then positive negative at y on the y axis. So we're going to put positive 12 here. Negative 12 inches towards the left. Absolute encoder offset. We're going to go right back into last year's robot. And then we are going to get this number straight from here. Copy. Paste. We use Neos as our drive motor type. And then our motor ID was 31514. 3, 15, 14. And then these are can coders. Back, left, module. Go to a graph. Back, left is going to be positive on the Y, negative X. Starting to see the pattern here. So negative 12 positive 12, our absolute encoder offset, back left is 126.3, copy paste, but yeah, if you notice there, you actually, these numbers change right here, and you can just copy paste this straight to your code if you want to. And then we use spark maxes. And then our drive motors from last year. Back left is 627. 627. And this was a can coder. And then, yeah. Back right module. This is going to be negative 12 and then negative y. Because right here, this is going to be negative 12 on the x-axis, negative 12 on the y-axis for this wheel. Our absolute encoder offset is going to be 1275. One two seven point five. Dun, dun. Our drive train mo our drive motor and angle motor. Okay, drive motor is eleven sixteen four. Eleven sixteen, and this one is four. This is going to be can coder. And yes, we have that is all four of our modules complete. Double check everything is true. Once again, all these values are probably going to be different for your own uh, swerve drive. So make sure you double check these values on your own. And then you can skip heading tuning as this is just basically settings for your controller and usually you can just keep it default. 
So once you're done with the heading tuning, you can start on your module tuning. Module tuning is basically where you're going to set up your drive PID and your angle PIDs for your motors. This right now, we're going to leave blank as uh, usually when you are finding out the values for your, your PID motor PID, it's going to take a lot of trial and error. And so we're just going to leave it blank for now, but PID is heavily encouraged and at sometimes kind of required if you want to do well with Swerve. So once you're done, right, you have all of this complete, you can press download and then just import it straight into your code. As I remember, all these mo these JSON files are going to be in your main develop Swerve and then wherever you put your neos are or your motor type is and that is your configuration files basically set up if you have any questions or you would uh, like to know about something more in depth i recommend you just fig just go read the documentation on self as a lot of time and effort has been put into writing all of this and would most likely answer all of your questions if you just asked. There is even an AI search tool. And I hope you had a successful time setting up your configuration files and happy swerving.